Hi, Ed. This is just for you. But uh, tell you, why don't you do me a favor and uh, shout out to, to people who might want to follow. Hello. Okay, why don't you invite some followers, Ed? Oops. Oh, you did? Great. Okay. Twitter. Oh, there we go. Yes, you did. All right. So, this is going to be about that 69. So, uh, for those of you who are catching up, this is a, uh, a fabled label of scotch. Adventures 1 joined. Okay. Is that the same ad, or do we have two ads now? Right. Okay, VAT 69 is, uh, is actually a difficult scotch to get in the U.S. But I was able to get it here at a... Uh, a, a at a gas station in Mexico for eight bucks, eight dollars U.S. So uh, you got to wonder how good it is. Um, is. Is this cheap swill? That's not its history. Um, are you familiar with VAT sixty nine? Let's let's see some some hearts if if you've ever had VAT sixty nine, or if you've heard of it. Oh, okay, great. Um, Here's the story behind it. Um, well, I don't know the story about the actual distillation, except that it's not actually a vat liquor. It, it, it's, uh, it, it is not aged in a vat. It's aged in like 40 different vats and thrown together as, as a blended whiskey. Uh, so the name is misleading, and uh, I don't know if it's ever led to any 69. I mean, law of averages, yeah, I'm sure it has by now. Um, but uh, it was actually named this long before any sort of uh, prurient subtext uh, had, uh, had associated with the number 69 or, as it's known upside down, 69. So uh, what makes this so famous if it's not the sexual innuendo? Yes, I have. I have. Um, for those of you who tuned into uh, take, well, well, take one, uh, I, I just uh, uh, aborted the attempt because nobody uh, had shown up on scope. Uh, and I found out I had a whole bunch of viewers uh, on the net uh, who, who just kind of plugged in through f Facebook, I believe, um, or, or clicked through, uh, through Twitter. But um, I didn't know they were there, so I just turned off the screen. Take two, I sampled this for the first time. There were a couple of people around who joined me in my first taste of that 69, which... Um, I, it, it's okay. Uh, it's it's kind of like uh, the Glenn Livid or uh, or Johnny Black. It's it's not great whiskey. It's not awful whiskey, but uh, it's apparently to a lot of people's tastes. It is. If you ever watch a Bollywood movie, you see some. I don't know. It's it's, it's just the uh, the iconography. That sixty nine is seen as the evil villain's whiskey in, uh, in, in, in Bollywood movies. I, I don't know how or why that is. Um, as I was saying before, I'm a good guy, and I drink Lagavulin usually when I can. <laughs> so uh, there's one other very famous uh, exponent of that 69. Um, has anyone heard of a U.S. Army officer from the Second World War named Lewis Nixon? Thank you. So he was with uh, Easy Company of the uh, Second Battalion, 506th Regiment of the 101st Airborne, and uh, he was uh, an intelligence no connection. <laughs> oh, are, are you in the Airborne? Oh, oh, no, <laughs> no, you lost your connection. Okay. So I, I, as I was saying, um, uh, there was a, an airborne officer during World War II named Lewis Nixon, and uh, he was an intelligence and operations officer uh, 
who uh, somehow, and nobody really knows exactly how he did it, but he had cases of VAT-69 lined up from the Gulf of Mexico to the Alps. And he was never out of this stuff. No one knows how, how he did it, but he always had a bottle of this stuff on hand. And, uh, and, and Lewis Nixon was a very wealthy man. Uh, his, he, his family owned, uh, chemical and plastics fa factories, uh, in New Jersey. Uh, the family money is, it was old money. His, his uh, family was, uh, shipbuilders back in the day. So this is a man who wanted from nothing, uh, a man of great means, uh, and, uh, and refined tastes. He, uh, even before the war, he was very well educated and well traveled. Um, you know, he'd been around. Uh, so, why is it his favorite drink is this stuff that I got from eight bucks in a gas station in Mexico? Well, I wanted to find out. So, I spent the eight bucks and got a bottle of this stuff in Mexico. I can't get this in the States. I've looked around for it. Um, and uh, if, if you've ever seen a, a series called Band of Brothers, uh, Hearts, if you've seen Band of Brothers, all right, uh, the, the character of Lewis Nixon uh, always drank this stuff. Uh, he was played by Ron Livingston, who if you, uh, yeah, Ron Livingston. Um, you know him as the guy from uh, from Office Space who ended up with Jennifer Aniston at the end. So, hearts for Jennifer Aniston. Here's to Jennifer Aniston, and uh, here's to Ron Livingston, and here's to the memory of Captain Lewis Nixon. No, it's really very good. I gotta drink this whole bottle tonight, or I don't feel like I've wasted some portion of eight dollars. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's 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 some good stuff. Um, cheers. Um, now, for those of you who. Uh, it's 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 room temperature. It's actually kind of chilly down here in the in the high desert. Um, it's okay. I, I'm actually rather relieved that they did not provide glasses in this hotel room because that would tempt me to drink the water up, up off the tap, and that is not a good idea. I'm I'm this close to the states now. I don't want Montezuma's revenge now. Um, I've been drinking the bottled water. I've been drinking the fruit juices. Uh, and now I've been drinking the Scotch whiskey. You know what I have not been able to find is mezcal. Mezcal is uh, my favorite Mexican swill, and I can't find it here. It's oh, smart. Yeah. Speaking of smart, shop smart, shop s smart. Uh, you know, you get the reference. Yeah. Uh, have you ever seen uh, any of the Evil Dead movies? Uh, Bruce Campbell's character, Ash. He works at a, a, a place called S-Mart. They've got S-Marts, like, all over the place. There's an S-Mart across the street here. There's an S-Mart uh, by, uh, by the bus station in, uh, in Chihuahua. It seems to be a big chain here. So I, I made sure I, uh, I, I, I went into S-Mart and... Bought a couple of things and, you know, had my picture taken and, you know, had, took a selfie in front of it. So, uh, and for, uh, for extra style points, today just happened to have been Black Friday. So I went to S-Mart on Black Friday. <laughs> it's, it's not a big deal down here, of course. <laughs> I, I was very impressed. The, the, the hotel I was at in Chihuahua, uh, last night, they, I, I came down for breakfast, uh, this morning, Friday morning, to watch them putting up the tree. And, I mean, <laughs> no riots. Well, that's, that's just an American thing. It, really, no other country does that. Um, there's a... Yeah, for Black Friday. I, 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 I just saw something on, uh, 
on on Facebook uh, a, a video comparing Black Friday in the States and Black Friday in the UK. And um, I I know London well enough that I, I recognize the places where uh, they were videoing and. Oh, how was dinner? Dinner was practically non-existent. I had a couple of empanadas, which I found out are actually more desserty things. I don't know I, th I thought it would be a, a, a little more substantial. Uh, but I've got my beef jerky from S Mart, and uh, I've I've always got a, a bag of tricks here. I've got my cereal bars. I've got my Boost. Um, I'm not, I'm clearly not starving. And, and you know, this has got all kinds of, uh, you know, grains and such in it. All right. Anyway. So what's new with you, Ed? They got to find a way of, like, uh, just recovering. So, how long have you been in recovery? Oh, from too much turkey. Wild turkey? I tell you, uh... You know who else was, had a little too much turkey yesterday was, was was Aaron Rodgers. What was up with that? Did you see the game last night? I wanted to puke. I, that was like the sloppiest game I've had seen in a long time. Yes, yeah, it's sad. Is it sad they couldn't both lose? Anyway, yeah, that I, I saw it down here. That I saw. I, I listened to the. Uh, to the announcers, it's an imposter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all I know is it, he embarrassed himself in front of America on Thanksgiving and Brett Favre. <laughs> He's, he cannot show his face for, for some time now. That that was just a, a, an, an awful spectacle. Where's Aaron? I don't know. Or is the, the announcers down here call him... Uh, is it, Aaron Royers, Aaron Royers is 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 how the the uh, the, the uh, Spanish announcers talk, refer to him. There's also apparently a a, a, a Mexican uh, league uh, soccer team called America, and it's based in Mexico City. Something I didn't know before yesterday. Traveling, it's it's broadening. Well, I didn't have any turkey. <laughs> I wanted to find that drink. That 69? Uh, well, where are you located, Ed? Houston. That's a New York joke. <laughs> yeah. Um, boy, it's a, it's a bit off my beam. Seabrook, Texas. Okay, I didn't, I don't know where Seabrook is. I, no, I used to be the finance editor for Chemical Week magazine, so I thought I knew my way up and down the Houston Ship Channel, but Seabrook, um, I, I'm not familiar with. But it, where's that in relation to, to, say, Beaumont or, oh, near Galveston, uh, Okay, Galveston, San Pedro, down that way, not not up towards the ship channel. Okay, all right. It's, uh, I, I've never been down that way. I understand it's beautiful. I also understand you could probably hop in a motorboat anytime you want and go to <laughs> go to. The, yeah. You know, you're you're probably like an hour by motorboat away from somewhere where you can pick this up. But anyway, 
It is starting to get late. I am starting to get groggy. I can't imagine why. Um, well, best. Uh, I'm wishing you the best getting uh, through that turkey. Oh, Baytown. Yeah, Baytown's kind of the uh, the end of my uh, turf, and it's been a long time since I since I've been down that way. Um, didn't particularly like Houston much uh, when I had business there. What changed? Yeah, you know, what, what changed my mind about Houston? It's Katrina. I never saw another, I never saw a city step up the way Houston did to to help its neighbors. Um, I remember watching CNN uh, one day and uh, shortly after Katrina, and uh, there was a, a reporter interviewing. Yeah, <laughs> that's a serious. There was uh, there there was a reporter. Uh, interviewing uh some lady is on on sidewalk in front of her church and there's uh there there's uh uh disaster victims coming in and out of her church and there's uh uh relief workers and volunteers coming in and out and uh, she's like really busy she barely has time for for this interview she gave decided okay I'll give this guy 2 minutes for the exposure and uh, she's talking to the reporter and and uh Porter lobs a couple of softball questions at her, as you do, and then asks, uh, so while America's watching, is there anything Texans will never leave you stranded unless you're on a bus? <laughs> I'm here to tell you. <laughs> uh, yeah, fortunately, in Katrina, the first things got flooded out were the buses. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so... Uh, I, I just remember the ladies being interviewed, and, and uh, the uh, the guy from CNN says, "So, is there anything you want to tell our, our viewers uh, throughout America and throughout the world? What is it you need? Is there anything you, you you really need urgently right now?" And she says, "No, I, I can't think of a thing. Uh, really, if um, it, you know, people are constantly walking past here. We're in the middle of the city. People keep walking past here. They'll ask, what do you need?' If I say, I need blankets.'" Someone's going to be buying uh, within the hour with uh, with a hundred blankets. If I say I need uh, oatmeal packets, someone will be by within the hour with uh, with, uh, with a pallet full of uh, instant oatmeal. It's it's just the way it's been. So uh, Houston scored a lot of points in my opinion on uh, 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 doing uh, the Katrina relief. And like I said, I never, I've never saw anything like that. Uh, but anyway, it is time to hit the sack. Uh, please, uh, I, I know that you follow me on on uh, Periscope and that you've invited your friends. Uh, I know you're on uh, following me on Facebook. Um, if you're in a position to help out materially, uh, there's a GoFundMe site. Uh, if you go to GoFundMe.com and look for Cross Country Local, there's a way of supporting my liquor habit um, in a direct fashion if, if you uh, choose to do so. In the meantime, uh, thank you very much for your uh, uh, for your time tonight, Ed. Um, good night. And I'll, well, I guess I won't see you on the route, but at some point, I, I do hope to see you. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.